lastly, um, probably a bad interviewer would do this because it's a massive topic, but it's a YouTube question. <laughs> and I only got a few, so I thought I'll, I'll ask it. Views on Hijra. Um, someone asked how to make Usman Amin, how to make Hijra feasible for Muslims living in the West. And where is most preferable given the state of Middle East and Muslim nations with tyrant leaders? So just give a short answer. Um, perhaps we can talk about this afterwards. Yeah. Um, so I think that Hijra for some people who can make Hijra, um, definitely pursue it. Everyone has to figure out their own situation with their family. The biggest thing to worry about is if, you're not able to homeschool your children. You're not able to protect your children from a negative influence in society. You're not able to protect yourself mm. from the kind of kufr that exists in Western society. Then there is a there is an impact, a positive impact by going to a Muslim country, being surrounded by, by Muslims. I think it's important just to acknowledge that because some people who are against Hijra seem to deny yeah. or that, you know, your infl your environment has a big influence on you and your children and your wife. Mm -hmm. Um, so first of all, we should acknowledge that, but does it, is it feasible for every single person? Um, and where can you move? Because you might have the desire to do Hijra, but it's going to create like such a hardship for you, um, that that's going to be an even bigger fitna than if you stayed in the country that you were born in, but you took measures to uh, protect yourself and protect your family. I think in there are certain countries in the West that I would say Muslims should make hijra. They should leave because they've made practicing Islam all but illegal. So if you are able to make hijra, then then do so. The question of where can you go, that's another big topic <laughs> that I can't really address. Uh, <laughs> in five minutes, but, the, but yeah, so I, I don't want to make an absolute statement that yeah, every Muslim mm. should make Hitra because there isn't a place that is clearly 100%, uh, Islamically abiding, uh, country or a, a Khilafah. Like, unfortunately we don't have that. So that complicates the question of where to make Hitra or if to make Hitra. Mm. But in, for certain people, it's definitely, if you can do it, you can move to a more Muslim environment, a more Islamic environment, then definitely do so. And for mm. everyone else, don't think that you're safe. Don't like give yourself this false sense of safety that, oh, I'll be fine. And living in a completely, mm. uh, you know, for based society and my kids mm. will be fine. And there's no, you know, there are people who have, there are Muslims who have this kind of attitude. I know, and I know. Talking, like, and okay, you have this attitude. Guess what? Your grandchildren are not, are not going to be Muslim. Yeah, and that's what you're setting yourself up for because you're just nonchalant about all of these da dangers. And it comes from not understanding the threat of liberalism. Actually, that's like the that's at the core of it. Mm. Yeah, Jazakallah khair. We've had episodes on Hijra before. Um, even if it's uh, intra country, like within the same country, if there's a place where there's a better community, that might be. Um, that might be something that you can consider if it's a better environment. Sometimes different places in the same country differ a lot in terms of rules and practice and community. 